And Nigeria's First Lady, Remy Tinubu, has reiterated the commitment of the federal government to create an inclusive environment where girls can thrive and unlock their potentials in line with present administration's renewed hope agenda. She gave this reassurance Wednesday at a one-day National Girls Interactive Session with policy and decision makers as part of activities to mark this year's International Day of the Girl Child in Abuja. Clairview News' Gloria Atta was there and now tells us more. The International Day of the Girl Child, observed annually on 11th October, is a global platform to advocate for the full spectrum of girls' rights. The day was adopted following the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 66170 on December 19, 2011, to recognize girls' rights and the unique challenges girls face around the world. The day also focuses attention on the need to promote girls' empowerment. As part of activities to mark this year's celebration with the theme, Our Time is Now, Our Right, Our Future, the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, in collaboration with relevant stakeholders, organized a one-day interactive session for girls and decision-makers in the country. Speaking at the event, wife of the president, Senator Remy Tinubu, stressed on the need to create an inclusive environment where girls can realize their rights and achieve their full potential. I celebrate every girl in Nigeria. Our girls are not just leaders of tomorrow, they are the leaders of today. It's high time we break down barriers that have held them back for long. Education is the key weapon that we must use to ensure that every girl is free from discrimination and intimidation. Education in particular is a cornerstone of empowerment and we must ensure that every girl has the chance to learn and grow. Empowering them with the knowledge in it is investing in our nation's future. We must see to it that every girl has access to quality education and free from all form of discrimination, be it religious, cultural, or traditional. Also speaking at the event, the Minister of Women Affairs, Barista Uju Kennedy Ohaneye, pledged the ministry's commitment to supporting the cause of children in the country. I want to make you understand that what, whatever we are trying now, according to the renewed hope of Mr. President and the First Lady, is how to build your confidence, how to give you voice, how to give your mother's voice, so that we put a stop to all you have been going through. I'm pleading with you to please be focused. Listen to your moms as you listen to the First Lady. Look at the best things to copy. Don't look at pay influences that will lead you into drugs and stuff like that. That's why you should focus more on your education and skill. Because when you are busy, you won't have time for frivolities. We must ensure that our girls enrolled in school, are retained in schools, so that at the end of the day, once they get the education, that is a step towards empowerment and better livelihood for our girls in this country. This theme spurs us to rethink and significantly work towards implementing policies that safeguard the girl child, strengthen laws that inspires her growth and total well-being. Even now, in the face of the impact of climate change, insecurities and other factors, Today, we gather to honor and uplift the voices of female children all around the world. It is crucial that we continue to support and empower them, ensuring they have every opportunity to thrive and succeed. Highlights of the event was musical and cultural performances from children from various schools in the FCT. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clevview News.